So the Russians are at it again. They have hacked into our computer systems. Yeah. And I don't feel too good about it. No, I mean, it's, it's been present for five years, but this, with, I think, was a, a severe breach of, of our security systems. You know, you know, one of the things, and Dick Durbin raised the alarm bell, and a lot of people raised the alarm bell. They said this is an act of war mm-hmm. in many cases. That this, this, Some people think that this is an intrusion on par with 9-11 because they didn't hack into Citibank and get a few credit card numbers. They literally hacked into our government systems, especially systems that affect national security and defense. And uh, the president today, or, or or I shouldn't call the president, the occupant of the White House, mm-hmm. uh, he's 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 not really spoke up, but he finally speaks up today, and he calls it a big hoax. He says the media is overreacting, and he blamed China. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we know where he stands on the Russian thing. Or, as far as any issues regarding Russia, we know he's going to blame China on it to deflect we know he's a he's a russian asset we've been knowing this for five years already you know um i think we're in a troubling place john i'm not gonna lie i think we're in a place where um the republicans distrust in our own institutions for their benefit or their um their their advantage is, is very troubling to me because you have half the government and half the country um who are not taking this very seriously and this is what kind of there's still soldiers and there's still guns and bullets, but this is what kind of what modern warfare looks like. This is the Cold War just 50 years later, right? Um, and there's a lot of people saying we don't even know the damage. Some people are saying it, it might not have been an attack. It might have just been them threatening, like, we could do this and we're here and I'm more of a spy mission. But we just don't know. We don't know the damage that's been done yet. And it might take a long time to figure that out. You know, um, one of the things that should have been a tell. Uh, and people have been going ahead and reposting the tweet. I think it was 2017 where Trump had told, had sent out a tweet talking about he has reached out to Putin and they're going to work together on cybersecurity. Uh, and I'm wondering uh, if, if what we're running into is really not a function of really the lackadaisical approach that this administration has taken, some of the way they've let their guards down, um, they've literally not staffed certain positions. Uh, this is happening. I really, truly believe this is happening. This breach is happening because this administration let it happen, either on purpose or just through negligence. Yeah, I, I don't. I, that tweet that I that I, I retweeted it, it made me think that this is all purposeful, and that that you know we always we always wondered what the end game was for Putin and and, and Trump, and part of it is just the distrust, right? That Putin wants to sow distrust in just the American institutions and he has done that very successfully in a lot of ways but i wonder if it's just more like he has trump opening doors for him that he probably couldn't have have opened before and just to be fair we do this to russia and we do this to china and we do this to big countries too so it's definitely a a double-edged sword here because we definitely do this but um to have the, the the actual president of the united states openly welcoming russia to do this is very troubling right well and to your point the big difference is, and yeah, we do it to other countries, but I think what we have to realize is that there's a world of, um, you know, CIA, spies, et cetera. We do a lot of stuff that we're outraged about. Yeah. Um, but the reality is, is everybody's doing it. But when you catch someone, they know we're doing it. They know we're doing it. And we should be less really out, outraged at the Russians and more outraged at ourselves for letting it happen because what normally traditionally happens is they're doing it, we're doing it. We've seen the Jason Bourne movies. We've seen all of the different spy thrillers. But the reality is, is when you catch the other guy doing it, you make sure that there's consequences. Trust me, we're doing it. And realistically, when we do it, usually there's consequences for when we're caught doing it. And likewise, when the Russians are caught or the Israelis or anyone is caught doing it to us, there needs to be consequences. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. I mean, look, if we're doing it, we're doing it. Um, that's what America's known for that, right? And, and we we frown on behavior that we do ourselves every single day. There's there's the hypocrisy is there for sure, but you definitely don't want it done to you. So I, I think if there was another president in, this would be considered. Um, I wouldn't say an act of war, but it would be considered very seriously. Remember, Obama very was very took a serious tone with with Putin right before the 2016 election because he knew that he was meddling. So, um, I'm interested to see what Biden does after the fact in a couple in a month or so. Right, and the tweet you were referring to earlier was um, the tweet where they talked about how 
the White House, the White House itself, was ready to go ahead and acknowledge that that the hack was carried out by the Russians. They were ready because Pompeo was on board. I think the National Security Advisor was on board, and it was Trump who went ahead and decided to downplay it. So the White House, everybody in the White House was going to come out and say, yeah, we need to go ahead and we need to acknowledge this as Russians and the president or the occupant of the White House. Uh, he went ahead and he decided we're going to change that and we're not going to, we're, we're, we're going we're to basically blame, blame the Chinese and downplay this whole attack. And it's just really, really scary. Yeah. So I, I don't expect him to do anything. I just hope that Biden could sew up our institutions enough where he could do something um, and, and not only stop this, but to punish people who are doing it. And the thing is, too, real quick, one of the things that um, this coincides with, you heard about how the Pentagon, I think yesterday or Thursday, decided it was going to stop briefing or put a mm -hmm. pause on some of its briefings for the Biden transition team. And, and this is the worst time for that to happen. The Biden trans transition team has to be read in as to what's going on. And if the Pentagon is not giving the briefings, I believe that means they're hiding something. Yeah, it, that the Pentagon story dropped Thursday and the Russian hack story was like Friday. So I'm wondering if this is definitely um, connected in the sense that they, they wanted to stop this from, uh, they wanted to stop the Biden administration from, from having a smooth transition so they could stop any Russian um, punishment that's coming their way, which I think is gonna happen once Biden takes over.